Eric, player of the season, you must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, really happy. Uh, not the state of the season as a whole, uh, just uh, avoiding relegation, but it's an honour that I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And it was something that was voted for by the fans. Does that make it extra special? It's a good award to have. I know uh, Doris got it last year, and that was definitely well-deserved for him. And I don't know if I was well-deserved of it this year. It's been a, a difficult season, but uh, I definitely do appreciate it. As you say, it has been a, a tough season, but ultimately one that meant that we stayed in the division. How, how was Sunday for you uh, on the pitch? On the pitch, um, just after the game, I was just relieved. I wasn't wasn't too excited or anything. I was just relieved that we got the job done in the end. We could start fresh uh, again in a, in a few months' time and hopefully uh, be optimistic and see what we could do next season. Yeah, because there's a lot of change this season and the results haven't gone gone our way. So I guess it must have been that relief, as you say, just to get over the line at the end. Yeah, it would probably be easier playing in the game than actually watching it from talking to the, the guys that were watching it. But uh, I'm just glad uh, we got the job done. Uh, Britt got two goals, probably should have had a hat-trick. And just, just in the end, we're still in the league and that's where we want to be. Any high points for you across the season? Any, any moments that stand out for you? Um, probably definitely the last game of the season. That that's probably the big standout game, just because it was the pressure on it and what it meant to the whole city. I think that was the standout game, even though I didn't really enjoy it because it's not a situation anybody really wants to be in. But it was a, a big moment for the club and all the players. You got a couple of goals as well. One against Birmingham was pretty memorable. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I actually got I got two this year. I usually. I tell the guys I'm oh, good for one a season, but ended up getting two this year. So maybe next year I might uh, get three or four. You never know. And the way that Mark Warburton's got the side playing, is that something that you enjoy being part of? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, come in, we, he's changed how we were playing. Uh, I wasn't attacking too much, but he, he's got a big emphasis on attacking fullbacks and uh, saying that I did get a goal uh, uh, when uh, he was in charge and manager. And it was just... Uh, part of the, the style of play that he wants and hopefully I could keep improving my game and, and be a, uh, a big part of next season. I guess now it's important to have, have rest and then come back strong and, and ready to go again in pre-season. Uh, yes, I would say so. Definitely. I'm actually trying to get called up for USA, so I'll still be doing my little bits and trying to keep myself fit. And if I get called up for USA, then hopefully uh, I do well with them. But I'm uh, definitely fully focused on next season. I guess the aim is to obviously do a lot better than, than this year and try and push on uh, at the top end of the table. Uh, yes, definitely. That's, I think a, a lot of teams that come into the division will, will be thinking, yeah, it's our turn. We could probably maybe get into the playoff spot. There, were, I think uh, this year there was a lot of teams exactly in our position. We thought, yeah, with our squad, we could uh, be fighting for a top half or a playoff finish. And I think hopefully uh, we get... Uh, some good players in and just uh, everyone comes back uh, fit and ready to go and and you never know we'll see what happens next year